Yo, and welcome to the Ice Booge Daily Channel. This is the second stream for today. I did one this morning. It was a surprise day off. Tuesday is my check my schedule day. And so, yeah, in the normal spot, normal time and place. Cooked dinner in the park. Um, and as I was walking into the park, so a couple thoughts that I had. One were that, one was that, um, so why don't I just bring my equipment in and like record myself making dinner one night or like this and that. But I alluded to in other recordings that there's a concentration of the homeless population in the inner city park, not the park where I did that one stream outside. But, you know, where I go to cook dinner a lot of times, um, and I just don't want to pull attention to myself. It's not that I think someone's going to come up and steal me. It's that the same people are there every day, including myself. So small, pro small town problems in a way. The big city would probably... I'm in a relatively big city. Like, I worked 30 miles from here at a grocery store. I had to come to... This city, that's like three hours outside of San Francisco to find enough opportunity to get to the next step within a reasonable amount of time. Like when I worked out there, I just applied to all the grocery stores within, you know, basically everywhere out here. And they were the first ones that called me back and I went to work for them. Same thing with the restaurant here in town. So anyway, um, the park, though, the homeless population uh, is relatively big. I mean, it might be 10 homeless people, three live in the park, something like that. Unlike Golden Gate Park, where it might be 10 times that, it might be, you know, 100 homeless people there at a given time and 30 live there, something like that. But yeah, I just don't want to bring my equipment out to dinner. I just want to go make my dinner, eat it, and leave. And, you know, that's my judgment call on that situation. Like, it's just not a vlogger-friendly place. But on the other hand... As I was walking in, I was just thinking like, man, this is paradise. I, I, you know, I could share some pictures and it's just like the most beautiful place you can imagine. You know, there's a few homeless people who live there, but you're not seeing garbage everywhere. And they're probably a little extra flagrant with me because A, I'm super skinny. And I look less homeless now because like my... Grooming has gotten a little bit better with the shaving, my beard and whatnot. And today I actually uh, was bold enough in the gym to just pull out my trimmer. I didn't give myself a full fade, but I just put it on the longest setting, tied my hair up and just like buzzed it up and then shaved the back of my neck, which I did a few weeks ago as well. So let's see, I've got another branch I could go off of from that which is yeah I was at the gym and I was thinking like early one of the first things I did to try to monetize was Urban Camping Pro my survival guide that started off as the physics of homelessness but Urban Camping Pro turned into part one of four I talked about it a little bit on the previous stream um, I keep calling it stream because that's usually the format of the channel but for various reasons, it's hard for me to stream. I was actually able to get YouTube to stream from OBS earlier today. So that is something we could do in the future. Um, it does not work from the web interface for some reason, which is how I tried it before. And I also tried it outside where I am now in the rain. It didn't quite work. I tried it on a sunny day later. It still didn't work. So it seems like streaming from the web doesn't work. Google Voice doesn't work. SSH doesn't work. But I can stream RTMP from OBS for whatever reason they decided that one's okay.
whoever man manages the firewall. So, yeah, in the gym I was thinking, all right, so Urban Camping Pro, I could do like a little commercial for that or a tour where I delve into that a little bit in one of these 20 minute videos. But the other thing is just like, I'm walking around in heaven on earth and I'm not taking pictures because I don't want to share my location. Like basically I don't want other people to come here and stick their fingers in the pie before I get my chance to. I do want to share it, but I'm just at such a disadvantage right now. I don't want to bring people who might actually want to come compete with me into this beautiful town. Not that I think someone would up their life and come here just to compete with me, but on the other hand, I don't think they wouldn't either. Like, I've had some pretty big haters in my day, and I've accomplished some big things to earn that level of hate, which is just confused love. Haters are confused lovers for sure. But yeah, I just want to... I want to establish myself before I start telling people where I am. And I don't want people to also just like, you know, find a result in a relevant search of this random homeless guy talking about this small town that they happen to live in and we're doing a relevant search on or whatever. Yeah, they search for the name of the town they live in. They find some homeless guy who's new there, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I talk about the library. Well, it's the only library in 30 miles. Plus, I had to come 30 miles to get here. It might be the only library in 50 or 60 miles plus. You know, there might be another library like 20 miles away in a, the opposite direction. Thinking about it, maybe even t just 10. It might be open only one or two days a week. But anyway, yeah, so... Urban Camping Pro, that is my ebook, and it's free. I've got a product on Gumroad to help support its publication. There is a draft available now, so it is at GitHub. It's also on my personal Git server. And the Wi-Fi is going to be slow right now because there's a bunch of people between the building and I. So water is not a great media for Wi-Fi to travel through. And bodies are made up of however much percent water. So you can also find this on GitHub. Same account name, github.com, Harlan J.I. Urban Camping Pro. So it's a survival guide for professionals living the van life and unhoused or homeless people alike. It focuses on foundational activities to live off-grade within an urban environment, which can form the basis of a system of habits that lead to growth beyond one's present circumstances in an energy-efficient manner. The laws is governing camping and giving apply. So this is the second draft, the sections, yada, yada. The direction is... Right, so the six weeks I talk about, so when my mom died and I got some life insurance money from my dad, 3000 I budgeted 500 a week for six weeks, and I worked on it from that. During that time, I got a hotel room each week, and that's primarily where I did the work on it, the editing work. This is before I had a distinction between writing and editing. So it is broken down into two portions. I think this is going to be auto-generated. So there's basics and luxuries. And I think this also has a auto-generated table of contents. So the basics are without electricity and the luxuries are with electricity. And that was a split that happened basically post 2020 when I was living in my car and I lost access to the gym and library, and I realized that electricity is at least as important as water. Like, I was able to get a job without much electricity there. I did still have phone service, but it was hard for me to charge my phone. 
so yeah, you know, just, I tried to do most important to least important too. So weather, travel, water, food, potty, oral care, sleeping, bathing, waste, laundry, reading, drawing, writing. So this is where we get into like writing versus editing. Um, I think was editing actually a luxury because it requires IT. Yeah, editing. So distinct from writing requires mental space and let's see it is breaking up lines still so yeah this is unedited this is just i wrote the guide i need to edit it i've got a few illustrations that i've done as well um let's see if they're in this repo maybe not Or they're mixed in with the chapters, SVG files. No, I don't see them. So they must be in a separate re repo or directory. So then compact life, that's what I call van life in a car as opposed to a van. Drive from a common route into homelessness, which is dwelling in car. So most people don't have vans that they move into before becoming homeless. They lose their apartment. They still have an old car that they can move into. The next alternative is living in a tent. Beyond that is rough sleeping. Next up might be truck or van life, followed by RV life and into motels, hotels, SROs, B&Bs, hotels, apartments, condos, townhouses, homes. Compact is a word with multiple widely used meaning. So it starts with the person's present situation and builds into the ideal person through a few principles and a progression of habits. Based around existing theories with some innovation in presentation, compact life is woven throughout this guide as it was developed in concordance with that hardware used to author this work. Editing. Editing is challenging in limited power situations. Carputer was developed as a single portable platform. That I did a video on my you know, homeless guy shows off his failed project product. This could be homeless guy shows off his failed book. It expands with resources available. It consumes low power and is, is and is expandable to large screens when available. It eliminates data migration concerns such as bandwidth. Blah blah blah. So I used to be like a cloud engineer, big data stuff, quote unquote, big fast data. And so I'm taking those principles and scaling it downward. That had another connection with earlier today too. Like as you get rich, you have to learn how to manage your wealth upward. And as you, this was actually as I was thinking about doing the stream when I was in the park, thinking about how beautiful it is and how great it would be to share some pictures and take some footage. But anyway, so you scale your wealth upward and by the same principles, you sort of scale it downward because at, huge scale fractions of percent matter and at tiny scale fractions of percent matter and well everywhere in between they matter too but there's other factors that might limit the perception of percents mattering towards like the middle middle class you're abundant enough to not care literate enough to keep it going but not literate enough to or motivated enough to or disciplined enough to fully tighten up the ship and scale your wealth to the level of generational, which something like the rocket equation could go into the physics of homelessness of, you know, as you're going forward, you're burning wealth, but in your burning wealth, you're also creating more opportunities for future generations. Like you invest $100,000 in buying a piece of land and planting a bunch of lumber that won't mature for 20 years. And every year for the next 20 years, you're planting a new batch of trees so that, you know, year 21, you've got another batch. And then you're replanting where the first year was. Year 22, you've got another batch. You're replanting where the second year was, etc. I'm not saying that's exactly how making a lumber farm works, but in general, you get the idea. You invest a bunch of money building a lumber yard for 20 years. You're just putting money into it and you never see anything back. So that's kind of generational wealth level thing. And that's like the greatest blessing you can pass on to your grandchildren. Like, never mind all this pop culture stuff about did it all myself with no help. Kick my kids out of the house when they're 18, man, they can do it themselves. I just made up that rap song. It's pretty good, right? But that's what 
pop culture and rap you, you could get signed for that song not the you know i use my wealth to plant generational i can't even i'm not you know i use my wealth to invest in generational health gonna let my kids start with some wealth not have to say they did it themselves even though the ego you know whatever could make up something you get it It'd be like a conscious hip hop as opposed to, you know, pop culture, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, um, that's on my server, get.harlanji.com. You can also find it on github.com slash harlanji slash urban camping pro. And yeah, that's just like myself hosting stuff going on back to tiny data center. Like all this stuff is interwoven and this work is, you know, foundation like i say it's foundational with the compact life stuff the tiny data center stuff employment opportunities and resources yes <laughs> gig labor blue collar corporate office i think this probably was formatted better oh yeah so there's just not a line breaker between it and so it turns into one long paragraph so yeah i had one per line blue collar corporate office academia Da da da. So, basics, luxuries, that appendix with those sections. So, yeah, it basically says how it's divided in the intro. It says that I was spoiled uh, having started homelessness and compact life slash van life in San Francisco. We got company two spots away. Just don't come over here. Um, totally lost my train of thought now. So, right. I have to expect it, you know, by this point. So, yeah, this is the second stream of the day. So, yeah, on this, you know, now writing, editing, now there's recording editing, video, um, you know, one could edit photos perhaps if they wanted to crop and frame and contrast and everything that beyond what the camera could shoot. And yeah, I just don't like homeless people even hearing what I have to say, seeing what I'm doing, because then they'll come up, oh, are you doing this today? <laughs> oh, I hate that. Just mind your business and get your get your money up. That's what I'm trying to do, right? So yeah, uh, where where can you pre see? Look, mess with my money right there. If I would have forgot this, so you can do the pre-sale. Oh, and by the way, so you can download the PDFs under releases of this. Hopefully this doesn't go over 20 minutes as well. We're at 18 and a half. Oh, share the screen again. So under releases, we got a couple drafts. You can just go download the PDF. It's there. And you can also support the work. Urban Camping Pro, it's a name your own price from 3 plus. Uh, the work will be under Creative Commons, Attribution, Share Alike. So this is just uh, an indicator for other people. It says the number of sales. So sort of like the Patreon thing, I want to get it to five just so that it says there will be you know this many. Um, I don't have a direct offer for this. Like Patreon, I want to release an app as soon as we get enough people on it. I'm thinking like seven by the end of this month, something like that. But yeah, um, so this is another one take, no fake, the usual format. The editing did work out. I'll need to learn some new habits to support that, but it's all possible. Like this is incremental, habits build on top of each other, etc. and there's principles that drive them. So yeah, Urban Camping Pro, thinking about living in paradise and this and that. So thanks for joining for number two today. And have a blessed rest of your day until I see you next time. Looking forward to seeing you next time as well. Bye.